and yours are just a change. No man is ever get cold skin tackle, man. Woman skin trying your fuck. But I want to know the dirty girl skin if she get a cut right blood clan on my love it so a big so like a ball of one. Mm, she have a dirty skin. Her skin thick but it dirty. You get a cut now the old black skin blow up out her skin. What kind of skin is that? She have key lights skin. If she get a cut right now, instead of it healing, it come up bulky. Y'all, y'all, you need to go and do surgery, Jeremy. Take out those bulk. All the chop them when you get. Everybody's get chopped and you lose the bleaching cream over it and it's smooth out here and you will see the chop out the scar. Y'all want to get when you bleach out your scar and still it by y'all. Mm. I used to be savage. I can arrest that shit now. I used to be very fucking savage. I remember you. Uh, Jeremy have done a lot of shit to me and he's trying to still fucking do it. I remember one time this motherfucking gray up face, a boom ass cold pussy nigga. Right on my picture, put it on paper and send it in a taxi for one place. I remember I told you all this story before, but for those who didn't hear it, now you get it, you get it live and dark again. And put my passport size picture in from one paper and I'm computer printed off, send it to our community when I'm farm, you know. You know them love. We know you're gonna boom around the roll it, man. But this one next boy, this will love me did like and did like me. I'm a boy here as there and Jeremy sent the paper them up in the community and he wrote on the paper it was like he put my full name or racist on your Galloway, born and raised in Farmer Trulani, um um he's gay and he has run away from his community. Um and he wrote a lot of fucking nasty stuff under the, the, the thing about me. And I was there in farm one Sunday morning. I woke up and I woke up with banging on the door. And it was my, the person who I liked, they were the, the person, the, the, the neighbors that was banging on the door, they was like, Naza, Naza, wake up, Naza, wake up. They might come out, Naza, they might come out. Yeah, the people I'm going to beat on the door so my have to come out. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to come out with love. And I see all sort of weapons. Gun, machete, pickaxe, knife, steel, wood, button, swan. All that you can fucking think of. People I'm going to kill me. And I don't know. But luckily, God gave me the strength. And I start talking, and a few people there that had sense, or a few people there that is educated about life, I know what life is. What the fuck did I do? Them start, well, when we start talking, like, like, come on. I was like, anybody can put some of the picture on paper and write or whatever shit behind it. Then most of the woman did it, most of the woman did on the spot, start look into it. And they were like, I true, man, I true. Anybody can write up somebody, and put some of the picture on paper. I write up whatever fucker behind it and send it to Cause I don't like say I want a video where you see two money to get out of something. That, that's what fucking saved me. What if I was careless and doing like porns and like having Jeremy to record me having sex and stuff like that? I would have already been gone a long time from this earth. Nobody would have ever fucking knows me. Yes. So what happened after that score went down and everything? I cleared it up. I called my mom. I was crying because I was very judgmental. It was very shocking to me. It was distracting. It was a waste. It was a shame. Because remember, even though that happened and everyone left, remember tomorrow I have to walk over to take taxi. I got to face all of that people. Jeremy didn't know what happened because he did with the intentions. He's going to get to the community, which he did. And he did it with the intentions. It probably is not going to happen. So let's give it a try. Anyway, the bitch called me like a week after. Probably called me to see if I was dead. He called me, but when he called me, he was talking very normal. Like, hey, what well, I'm going to good, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, I'm young, but I, I tag along. I play the game with him. I pretend like I, I pretend like everything was okay. I, I didn't mention the whole scenery of what happened with the paperwork and people coming into the yard to kill me. I didn't mention any of that shit one bit. And he keep the conversation going. And he was like, um, you know, sir, 
I have some chicken over me on a raise and more some help. That time he didn't even know that he already committed damage that almost, you know, where almost killed me. And you know, me did have a play along with him and him invite me by my yard. And even though he invited me by my yard, I said to myself, I said, but if somebody just tried to kill me, why would I invite me by my yard? But anyway, I still have luck to bring us on my heart because guess what? I already planned my revenge. But I didn't know how the fuck it was gonna be played out. But since he called me and invited me into his space, then I have a better way of carrying out my crime without getting too much equipment to get it done. So I was like, okay, then I'm sorry, right, I'm gonna come over to Ricky, because Ricky was the guy that I was talking to. I was like, I'm gonna come over to Ricky, and him so enjoyable, and I'd be like, okay, come, come, no problem, no problem. I'm sorry, right, then, boom. I'm gonna get that out of the way. So I was like, to Ricky, Ricky. I said, Dirty, guess who call me? And he said, Oh, Mr. Dirty Stinking Dreaming, call me. He wants to come over this Sunday. So I said, Ricky, hey, trust me, Ricky come from a farm, you know, I'm a farm, I'll be a badness one. Yo, man, Ricky go down to the market. I'll buy some bumbuckle, a big lamb butcher knife. And gloves. Is that a pack of bag? Come and watch this show that says, when you watch this movie when I'm young, the movie called Enough. And the man used to beat up, beat up the girl. I watch the girl train for fight and come back with that kind of device. You know, I'm going to the market to buy a beer weapon. I'm going to pack my bag and go to Germany. Before my Germany, I'm going to hide the bag and knife and the things. I'm going to laugh at me. I'm going to kick off my bag myself. That time I was so grieved. I was so dying inside. But I decided, like, bitch, I got to fuck you up. Even if I'm going to prison. Because, bitch, you almost let me die. So I'd rather you die and I go to prison. Like, at least I'm going to come out back a couple of years after. Anyway, with the idea, 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 dog. Germany want to fuck. And want to treat some. So that was the perfect moment to get this motherfucker fucked up. We we just pretended we just you know we just went into it and we was like okay no problem let's do it and we you know nice and flat belly no bumbo clad size twenty eight to be you know Germany that's for two young sexy boy and it was it was like damn I'm gonna have two for one. <laughs> Bro, 
the name Bumba Clan, Friday the Glass, the main ball of murder! Murder! It's not your loud. I meant to like, it was a Mali, is in a, in a wall up, is a very quiet community. I'm saying, like, yeah, Lord, yo, come here, kill a pussy, wall, and the pussy, mama, we are kill it. Yo, when him get the glass plate, yo, him go down, yo, that I reek it, and I murder him already. Yo, I'm saying, run down, buddy, man, give my blood class, stop in the inside, you see? I'm stuck with my day. I'm stuck with my inside, yo, I'm drop, yo, I'm not, when him drop, yo, what are we trying to eat? I'm not coming out, we go to God, I'm sick, by the time I start to see blood, my body start black down. Yo, I start to see blood, yo, I look, I see blood, but I was like, I start to creep out, yo, I don't know what to do. This bitch is so strong. This bitch get up off the fucking floor after the, all that damage with the chop out and the stub up where him get. Jeremy get up and run to the back door, I look, I run outside, I'm all of murder, murder. I say, when him ball for murder, my love. I said, man, Ricky, I don't know, probably some of the stuff left in the house, but we turned we turn them, we turned them as to we start doing stupid shit. We run out that door, we don't know what, it's like I was lost for a moment, I didn't know my mind. I was really lost for a moment, like literally when I ran out of the house, I didn't remember where I was, I didn't know where to go, I didn't know myself. It was a fucked up moment, trust me. But girl, you know what bring me back to reality? When I start to see the blue police light in my flash, cause somebody called the cops. I see the blue light in my flash and I come. Yo, me and Ricky run, go up in our one place, yo. I see when I run to Bumba Club, I lick up in our one way, bow way, box for box, so I did that road, whoop, out to Bumba Club. Yo, I, as I said, I was very lost. I didn't even know what I was doing. All I wanted to know, I was getting escaped. I see the bow way, I push me back out of the road. By the way, I push my gun on the blood clot road. My lungs are crap. I'm a million crawl under the fence. I'm say for the whole night, police car up the road, down the road, up the road, down the road. I line up on my belly flat, no sound. Six, six thirty, my love. We creep out of the bush and we find our way back on me pen. I got a police station and tips on my man, rob where I'm um, I'm a man trying to rob where I'm all up on my love. I would defend myself, we made a report, but the police said, okay then, never serious. We just move out and maybe I'm going to send to this bed. We just sent to this bed, I'll change a bitch and live in long, I reckon, I'm going to live in food and I'm fat. I'm fuck a lot. You can't hide, but look, I'm going to have a police officer with blood clad. But Ricky now, he loved Maypen, he went back to Maypen, and Jeremy was after us like a fucking FBI. He was fucking on to us. He was, Jeremy was searching the whole force party. <laughs> After dreaming in the chop up and come out, you know. After dreaming, you know, I'm not saying that dead, his sister call me, so we know that they told take ourselves. Oh, I don't kill my brother. Oh, the bomb was in my week, killer brother. I'm a, I'm a bit of a shabby cut him up. So, with the only one, he said, I'm gonna kill my brother. When she comes, I'm gonna kill my brother, my love. We definitely know that the post was in the hospital and soon come out. He said, the pussy clock took Batman come out. He reported the matter, you know, and Jeremy out there to the police who can look for him. Ricky got me a pen, and Jeremy catch Ricky and call the police, said my love. Mm-hmm. Well, but we can listen to my love, but we get our satisfaction with that, that, the part of the clock to what my love. Make sure you ball like a baby. That's why she's so evil against me now. She have every reason for bringing my love. I'm not really responding. So you get what you get on me, you get on me, you get all your money. It's what it is. You know, so she's terrible against me, so I tell her what it is. How it go? Long time she want me to date him. I never want she did more, she can live. But a big fuck up, yeah, like she, my love. The skin strong. Skin <coughs> strong, I'm a lot clad. German skin strong. German, I make out a sea wall strong. Very strong. Yeah, we got locked up. Um, because when Ricky got locked up, I didn't want him to face the consequences alone. To be honest, I had money then. To be honest, at that time we were, you know, we just, we start making our little money, so we were like doing good and stuff like that. So Ricky got locked up. Um, again, when you like somebody, you run into the trouble all the time for them. He got locked up, and I went to the police station. And that's why I got locked up too.
because when I was out there, I was stupid enough to call Jerry and I was like, bitch, I'm at the police station, bitch, get, come out here, no, come out. And he didn't come out there, he called a station because he was smart, you know, he was a little fast in the brain to do wickedness. So he called the station and he was like, hey, the person where it chopped me up, the next person is at the station right now, Wally. So when the police came out and the police was like, um, are you a racist? I was like, yes, because I thought he wanted me to go just see Ricky. And he was like, oh, you're under arrest. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> My car was all by the station. Everything got wrecked. My car was all there for months. <laughs> Called up because the funniest thing about me, I'm very feisty. When police come to lock me up, I'm gonna disrespect your ass. I'm gonna tell you about your mom. I'm gonna tell you to fuck your kids. I'm gonna tell you everything that is dirty in the book. So you know what happened? When I go to court, they always give me like a high bail, like for a million dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was very high, so I spent some time around there. But it was it was all right. Oh, I was going with it. after I got bail and I was going to court. Um, what he did. Um. I don't know what he did, what kind of job he got with embassy. Well, he got a job with embassy probably to give information on people that was involved in a lot of scam. So German was doing that kind of work, like giving information on those people that was in the, like those people that was being the big bosses, like the people that was collecting the big money. He was doing that work. After a while, he told embassy that, hey, I couldn't stay in Jamaica anymore because I'm they're the people that I already inform and they want to kill me and I have to get out of Jamaica. So that's how German got his visa. When he got his visa, he came away on his visa for the first time. He run left the court case. He left us there back and forth with the court case. Um, judge, you know, the judge was getting uninterested about the case. He was coming to court and then he just suddenly disappeared. Yeah. He was doing a lot of corruption down there. Mm hmm Well, I have a jealous stink. All about that says German, though. German in fam and Wally Pagala, Jamaica. Forget the visa. Because that's what people do when you are jealous Ukraine. If you have people in Ukraine that was providing America with information, when if there's something happening in Ukraine, the government makes sure to remove those people first to keep them safe. So that was the incident that Germany fall into. He, he was providing the immigration um, in Jamaica with information on those people that was doing the big game and people that would be of good interest. And, you know, probably after a while, he started telling them like, hey, um, you don't tell me what the fuck is all After a while, he was telling him, like, hey, I'm trying for my life. They want to kill me. I need help. I got to get out of this country. And they gave him a one entry. And he never go back to Jamaica. Oh. Simone, you don't come tell my wife for chat. My chat, my love, clad English. If you don't want to hear English, my love, you don't make up something else, my love. If you're English, I'm about eight years. And if you go buy a part of a book, I'm about You know where the fuck you're going to learn Spanish. Okay, if you don't want to hear English, uh, uh, why else do you want to hear? In Germany, it's a moose. A moose, a car, she. <laughs> Germany is a monster. I remember this other person named Daniel that German used to date before I knew him. And my God, I think Daniel have faced a greater loss and pain throughout dating Jermaine. Because even when I was with Jermaine, Jermaine would still see Daniel and still hit her, still torment her. If he if, if said Daniel with nobody, he would get upset. It was crazy. When Daniel see Jeremy, Daniel used to run, literally run for his life. Yeah. And I was running after a while too. <laughs> when you're young, I think of crosses, bumble clot. <laughs> Rubber skin, my love. <laughs> So, you know, I'm German, I tell about me, German, I hold my senior, I don't know all guys, them say the wicked, them always live long, you know. They come like, all of you, my name is Vi. My name is Vi. My name is Vi. Love of you, yeah. The wicked, them always live bomb, buckle, la, la. Mm-hmm. He's very abusive. 
not about German or sweet, not about German or romantic. I like your period on this so and happy. I just say look a probably look a luxury life, the so called luxury life. You know, you're young, you want to live that good you life. You want to have a man with a car. You want to have a man with, you know, look like somebody. Well, for me, Jeremy doesn't look like anybody because, because I know him. Like, for the people that doesn't know him, they probably see him as somebody. But for me that know him like that, girl, you're just some rubbish to me. Come on, you know I'm a good storyteller. I got so much story with Jeremy, and it's just me for you to know and me to tell y'all. Jeremy is a mess. Why he do, why 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 he doesn't tell the people about his past life? You're telling the people about what's going on now. Tell us about you. We want to know about you more. Tell us about.